on the retro show today. No, wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> Macintosh. And this lamp. Oh my gosh. Macintosh. <laughs> No, it's not heaven. It's episode seven. Oh, hey, Chip Dippers. Oh, hello, Chip Dippers. Welcome to the Retro, the Retro Show. Show. <laughs> she says this is heaven. It might be like heaven. We don't know. We haven't filmed it yet. But either way, it's very nice to see you again. Yeah, that color looks great on you. Yes, it, yeah, pink really suits you, sir. Anyway, let's find out if it's heaven and start with some old news. Old news. <laughs> And first up. First up, what do you see here? Two very cool, nostalgic looking things. Yes. That I can play with my hands. I mean, that my hands can play with. Yes. So these are the controllers for the up and coming N64 and Sega Genesis games for Nintendo Switch. Sega. What did I say? You say you go Sega. Anyway, they are going to be launching a handful of games. Well, they haven't announced when. They just said late October. My favorite games are Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, and of course, Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And then... And for Sega Genesis, mm. my favorite was uh, Sonic 2, which I didn't have a Sega, but my best friend Danny did, and so I had the N64 and he had the Sega, and so depending on whose house we were at, we would play those games. And these are going to be part of the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack plan. Which means not sponsored by us. Even no, not sponsored. Like it. No, but if if you already have the Nintendo Online, Nintendo Switch Online, then it's just going to be kind of a little additional bump. Very cool. I'm gonna buy it absolutely because I cannot wait to play these games. And I was thinking maybe even live streaming them again if you guys were interested. Um, Very cool. You guys remember Lady Fractic plays? We did the lockdown live streams. I did, yeah. But they were a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, maybe do some more. Yeah. Cool. And from live streams to, what's a good segue? T-shirts? From live streams to T-shirts. Perfect. Makes perfect sense. Because you remember last week we talked about these retro logo Apple T-shirts at uh, Apple Park in Cupertino. Is that last month or last week? It's all a blur. Did I say month? A week? You said last week. <laughs> last year. <laughs> uh, and look what we've got here. Bubble wrap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot happening. Okay. Oh, cool. Looks like a controller. Boop, 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 boop. And a magnet. Just a quick peek. Greetings, this is Chris from Facebook. You might know me better as one of your YouTube channel members, Nosh Abroad. Now it makes, <laughs> now it all comes together. And he says that we mentioned that we postponed our Japan trip. So he includes some, he's includes some Japanese om, omiyagi. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Omiyagi. To ease the disappointment. Very kind. Um, and in, apparently in here there's a little weekend project for me. Warning, shameless promotion, self-promotion. During the pandemic, he tackled a little passion project. Inside the box, you'll find a clear shell provided by Retro Game Restore. And to complement their product, I've manufactured a number of system decals to help personalize each system. You'll find several of my Graphex... Gra graph FX. You'll find several of my products included in the box. Tell you what, let's unbox these during the unboxing section yeah. when we've moved the monitor off yeah. the desk here. I, there was a lot more we'll, than we bargained for. We'll come back to that, but thank you. Yes. And next up, the final bit of old news is that Lego released the, what was it, the Mario Cube? Yes. Now we went to see this at the Lego store recently. Yes, we did. And Lady Fractic got rather, well, it wasn't her only that was carried away, but several boxes were carried away. I got emotional. Look at me, Mario! Oh, oh my god! I need this! <laughs> and I need this and nothing else! And this lamp! And this lamp! <laughs> okay, bye! Bye! Thank <laughs> you. 
Take that back, sorry. Need the hand? No. Okay, bye. Very good fun. Now you didn't get all of them, did you? No, but I did get one that I'm going to be putting in a dedicated video. And if you guys want to see more Lady Fractic, just check out our link below for the Patreon. More Lady Fractic goal on Patreon now. Yes. That's it for old news. That's old news. Yeah. Now, if you remember in the last episode, uh, we were looking for this guy. <laughs> and the internet did not disappoint. Uh, here he is. This is Mr. Keith Borman. Aspect of the customer experience from the very beginning materials that someone looked at. He is, as you can see, the VP of Western Region, SDL International. I think he's probably more interesting when he's singing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great to find the legend. And then here. Another one pops There's up. There's so much flesh touching the metal. Now, what well, the funny thing is, that's actually on, and he was he's just impervious to pain. Wow, that's yeah. very impressive. True story. Uh, what's he fixing there? I don't know. But now a new Mario movie scene has leaked. Of <laughs> course, they're filming the new Mario movie right now. Yeah. Uh, Chris Pratt, I think, is playing Mario, right? Mm hmm You know all about that? I... Mm. Have you heard about it? Though? I have heard about it, and um, I'm gonna give it some time. I I'm sure he'll be great. I loved the original Super Mario Brothers movie. Who was in that? Was it like Kylie Minogue or something? Um. Uh. Um, John Goodman. We don't know. <laughs> no, it's it's the guy from um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the famous. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the famous guy. Yeah, he's so famous. Anyway, I love the movie just... with the Goombas, and it's classic. What's going on here? Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Even Puppy Fractic felt that as she shot up from her bed. He's okay. Rumor has it he's still going. <laughs> anyway, uh, check out this business card. Apparently I'm a woman now. Pretty cool. You, you gonna be 3D printing some? I'm definitely gonna look into it. You can, not, you can look into it and then you not, can blow into it. <laughs> if, you, if you set it up just right, you can turn it into a whistle. Don't tell Puppy Fractic. You can just hand them to people covered in dust. Anyway. Wow. Taking selfies, 90s style. With an apostrophe. The style belongs to 90, however she is. But that's cool. Did you ever have one of these printers? No. Me neither. These are one of the weird things that I found out about after, long after the fact. Probably people, many people watching enjoyed and had as kids. Recreating my favorite emoji in 80s Macintosh. With an apostrophe again. So we could literally do this over there, like I did the uh, RR logo. Did you know Photoshop was on the Mac? No. Way back? No. Way back, Mac. Wow. There it is. Good job to you, sir. Yeehaw! How do you say that as an American? Yeehaw! That's much better. Good job, Wes. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> uh, and now, finally, Luigi has gone too far. The bleeping music. <laughs> what is happening? <gasps> Luigi 
Mario, you devil. Fantastic stuff. And that's it for... I see what you mean. I saw what you mean. <laughs> and as mentioned earlier, we're now ready to do some fun boxing. Let's see what we got from our kind donor. Darling, yeah. it's your biggest fan. Oh, thank you. What's it? Do you speak? It says October 10th, 2020. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I don't speak English. And these, oh my gosh, I didn't realize we got so many. Oh my God. <laughs> we, we asked very politely for two and I offered to pay him back. And uh, when I offered to pay him back, we it said connection dropped. <laughs> he typed connection dropped. Very kind. Which one do you fancy? I, well, let's look at the size. This is yours. Okay. This is mine. Oh, cool. I didn't even see this one. Okay. Well, I'm going for this. I think this was the one that we, these were the two that we thought of. Uh, yes. For us. Oh yeah, mine says Apple. The packaging, very chic, very Apple. Wow. I'll tell you what, if, let's not rustle them and Unbox them. Let's just magic them on. You ready? Okay. Wait, I'm not ready. Got there in the end. Um, so this is it. These, these look fantastic. Uh, we got the RR badge. Yep. And who gets an RR badge? Anybody who submits anything to us and makes it up on the show. Exactly. Uh, and you can submit at perifractic.com slash submit. You will submit. Sounded a bit weird. I want to hold this one up so that you can see the details of it. They're, um... <laughs> <laughs> They're apparently uh, allergic. They're the original little icons. From the... From the original, like, Apple computers. Like Macintosh. Apple. Macintosh. And it's not a Macintosh, ironically. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> was not... No sound effects needed. <laughs> Fascinating. Turbo graphics. Oh, cool. These are very cool. Does, does he make these? I we don't so. know. <laughs> very nice. All right, and. Oh, baby. Sorry, baby. Oh. One for you. Oh. This one I think is for you. Oh, this is the... Oh, these are awesome. These are the Locos that he yeah, had. Very cool. That's going to be worn in a future video when I do another song, which is coming up, by the way. I'm going to team up with Chris Blythe, and we're going to make a song on his Fairlight. It's not a euphemism. <laughs> More Turbo Graphics gear. Whoa. These are the uh, things that he mentioned in his letter. Yeah. So you can put these over the controllers for... Whatever. Uh, Customization, whatever color you want. That's very cool. Shameless plug. Ah. These are the said uh, control. Oh my gosh, we actually got one. Yeah. Cool. Beans. Games. And an actual unit. Yeah. Cool. I've never ever held a PC engine, so this was obviously a very specific um, type of console. <laughs> Made in uh, okay, Japan. See, okay. Um, I, I want to say like early 90s. Uh, this one's made by NEC. Very cool. Okay, this is the never ending box. The never ending box. See? And an enclosure. So look. Oh, so oh, she's gone. She's Thank gone. goodness. <laughs> so you could rehouse it in there. Oh, very cool. That sounds like a video idea. <laughs> towels, Japanese towels. Ooh, I'm such a sucker for anything Japanese. I, I've been watching these um, Japanese lifestyle videos on TikTok about how they clean and all of the gadgets and, and how sense. they clean the gadgets and how they clean the gadgets. Yeah. Ooh. And the controls. Yes. And we can customize them with the stickers. Exactly. And these are the shopping bags. 
Just to prove that they weren't stolen. <laughs> Does that actually prove anything? I don't know, but if they were, he'd be deported and then he would be noshing abroad. That sounds delicious, actually. All right, I think that's enough Thank of unboxings. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Oh, she's uh, over there. She's over there. Bye. Now, in a recent recipe, I showed off some of my Far Cry wall breaching hacks, but I also asked, is it retro? And we got loads of very thoughtful responses. Thank you for that. So I thought it might be fitting and fun to send our retro recipes roving reporter, yes, our, 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 our Leo Fractic himself, back out onto the streets of England to ask people there, what is retro? Hi, Leo Fractic here. So I was a child of the 80s, and like any school kid at that time, you'd recognize one of these. This is the BBC Micro Model B. And along with its bigger cousin, the BBC Master, they were the mainstay of IT education in the UK. But it wasn't until Christmas 92 that I got really excited about IT, when we got hold of one of these. It was brilliant. It's the Acorn Archimedes A3010, and I consider that retro. But we wanted to find out what the public thought, so I went to find out. Well, I was born in 1969, just when the Beatles were about to finish. So in 1970s to early 1980s, I would call retro. Me, probably the 90s, but I'd say the early 90s. Anything that really falls into sort of a a category where it doesn't look like it does today. Like if you look at a, a Dreamcast, the controller's funky. It's weird because they were still figuring it out. Well, I think the 80s. Around the 80s, yeah. 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 yeah, it was just retro. Yeah. It just, that whole fashion sense was different. Maybe early 90s. I'd probably say 1970s. I'd say like 50s, 60s. It's almost like the 80s are pre-retro to some degree. My mum was a fan of the PS1. Oh, definitely PlayStation 1. That was my absolute favourite. I still play it now. <laughs> little DS. Pink DS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my DS. Um, and then the Wii, that was the other one that I had. Is there anything that you prefer now as to back then? No. <laughs> well, there it is. Conclusive proof that retro is anything from the 50s to the 90s. Yeah. Literally watching the little intro sequence, but yes, it is time for home brews. That's home brews. Doesn't make sense. Uh, and first up, as we mentioned earlier, if you do submit any home brews or donations or nostalgia flakes, which are coming up, you get an RR badge. He got his badge signed by the three of us, including Puppy Fractic. Uh, and Dad looks rather jealous there. Sorry, Dad. But thanks for your submission. And now, what have we here? This is from Erin Fate, and it demonstrates how to connect the Atari 2600, which we have one of right there. Sure do. To play games using nothing but hand motion. Whoa. So this is using the concept of AI and hand pose estimation. I just thought this was such a cool mashup of new and old technology. Yeah. Very cool. It's like a predecessor to all of the motion sensor like, games. Like the Wii, I think was the first. Or oh, the Xbox 360 probably was, was the first. Oh, the cam, yeah, the yeah. camera. But uh, that's a great new way to play old games without a joystick. Yeah. Uh, next up, this is Drew Fraser. Can you see? Uh, a C64 Mini. It is. He's put a C64 Mini into a three and a half inch disk drive bay. And there it is. So that's the actual PCB innards of the Mini, which makes me think of a certain company that we might recommend if we were to recommend PCBs. Probably PCB Way! They make a great quality PCBs like PC these. Starting at just five bucks. Thank you. Because as we all know, 
What does PCB stand for? Printed circuit. Meta -ba -ba Personal computer. Bay. Personal computer bay. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Mm. Either way, this is from Ian Sell, or Fryer, aka, and he wanted to teach himself Blitz Basic on his Amiga. So he decided to he'd set himself a simple exercise. Set himself a simple exercise. To complete, make a text based F1 Formula One racing simulator. Hmm. A very simple one, at least. But then he thought. So then I went. I, I, why don't I name all the drivers after Norwich Amiga Group members? I would have thought the same thing. That'd be fun. Then he realized that the acronym for Norwich Amiga Group is. Nag. Nag. Which, uh, of course, means horse. Right. You don't call that a horse? In... No. Okay. No. In England, nag is a ho an old nag is a horse. No, but that is not what that means here. Okay. <laughs> so, th so then he decided to make the game horse racing instead of Formula One. So here it is, nag racing. Yeah. Eleven. She's had enough as well She's of that deflating. story. Anyway, good job, mate. And finally, for home brews, Groma Space Conscript. By Megan Alnico. And Megan is distributing the sci fi novel Chrome Space as a bootable floppy disk running FreeDOS. Oh. Megan read a lot of fiction back in the text only days of the internet and wanted something with the same feel. So it requires a PC XT machine. You can see it booting up here mm -hmm. in VirtualBox, which is the PC emulator for Linux or Mac or whatever you like. Whatever you like. It requires the PC XT machine with 640 kilobytes of memory. I don't think many of you are going to qualify for that, but we'll see. Check out the links in description. Oh, that's cool. Type CS, my initials, to read restricted documents. Carry Saktik. Sure. Copyright dedication. Wow, I love this. This has got my juices flowing. Love it. Good job, Megan. Um, that's probably enough, I think, for this week's Home brews. That's enough home brews. That's home brews enough. Her way was better. <laughs>would you like a nice bowl of nostalgia flakes? Mm, of course. All right, let's start with this very soothing and gentle little advert. Bringing computers down to earth. There, there was a lot to unpack in that episode. I think my favorite moment was when his sister was on the computer and he pretended to punch himself in the face. <laughs> um, that's a new Susie. one. Susie. Commodore just seems to have a, a never-ending well of fascinating <laughs> commercials from the 80s. I feel like that's just proof of having young people in the department. Do you know what I mean? Like... Someone was doing something right at Commodore Marketing, that's for sure. Here it comes, here comes the face punch. <laughs> <laughs> punch the... my script. <laughs> and you're trying to punch me. You can't punch me. Anyway, before they get stuck in your head, here's another song to get stuck in your head. I've heard this before. Sounds familiar. This is uh, by S.H. Tunner on TikTok. It was showing off these 16-bit operating systems. And obviously on TikTok, you can choose a song to back your video. And he chose this. That clicking of the mouse is like so specific. IBM, yeah. I remember that game. What was it? That was the skiing game. I don't know the name skiing. of it, but you would ski and every once in a while I feel like an abominable snowman would come out and eat you. That's an abomination. I loved Minesweeper and then I learned to play <laughs> and it was much more fun. I actually have a screenshot that's like 10 years old of a game that it said that I had lost, and I didn't. Oh. 
and the numbers were off and it made me so angry yep. because I didn't lose. <laughs> the game was wrong? Yes. Interesting. It had oh. like all the numbers were, anyway, I clicked something that shouldn't have been a, a, a bomb and... Abomination? And it was an abomination! Next up we have Peter Ridge. He says a month ago he secured an RGB to HDMI adapter from Copper Dragon. We all know that mm -hmm. product well. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling you'll be watched? Um, and it enabled him to connect to a modern HDMI monitor. So it's enabled him in turn to share his love of retro computers with his kids. And this is his six-year-old daughter Alice playing Pinball Dreams on the A500. He says he has very fond memories of the game, especially the incredible music. And it was incredible to see his daughter enjoying the same game on the same hardware he did. We love a good pinball machine. I think it's one of the original no-brainer games where all you had to do was man the paddles. And it wasn't always guaranteed. If it went straight through the middle, that was it. But it was so satisfying to have all the bing, 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 bong, yeah. bong, Sometimes it's nice just what you see is what you get. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it had that like secret thing and then it went under and went go, 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 go. And, and all then the what you don't see is but, what you get. Yeah. Uh, he also pointed out that it occurred to him that her playing this, a machine 30 years old, is the equivalent of him playing something like the ENIAC from the 1940s. And it's crazy when you think about it. We're as close now to Commodore 64 as people using the Commodore 64 were to World War II. And that really makes me feel old. You see what I mean though? Yeah. Like 40-ish uh, years. And now we're 40 years on again. That it's means crazy. I'm 80. Wow. It's confusing. You look great for your age. <laughs> Thank you. So do you. Thank you. I don't know what that means. Now here is Richard Shaw right with a nostalgic photo. And this is him being quite shy. <laughs> he cowers his head back in the mid 80s, close to World War II, with his beloved Amstrad CPC 46 Paul. Useless. Um, which is still with. There it is. It's a delay. delay She's buffering. Action. Good girl. Next up, David Voss wearing his replica 1984 Bayern Munich football shirt. My sister's a big Chelsea fan, and I sent her someone wearing the original Commodore sponsored Chelsea football socks. Uh, if you're watching Sissy Fractic, there's another one for you. This is my friend, our friend, Deanie Fractic. Now, uh, Lady Fractic's only met him uh, as a grown up, but here he was holding his ZX Spectrum cake, That's birthday cake. Precious. <laughs> he sent these to us in honor of Sir Clive Sinclair uh, and our tribute Recipode last month. Um, and here he is again, he is. playing on the ZX Spectrum itself. And he matured and grew up to buy an Apple Macintosh, which again seems to feature quite heavily in this channel, yeah. along with Mario. But the fact he says, says, I want to marry you. Anyway, thanks for sending those in, Dini Fractic. Well, we just want to thank everybody so much for all the wonderful submissions, donations, uh, videos, pictures, you name it. Um, remember, you can get your badge by uh, going to perifractic.com slash submit. You will submit. Until next time, because we'll be back, of course, with another delicious retro recipe. Yep, and until then, support and subscribe below and cheerio. Cheerio. Cheerio.